Okay, everybody. This is Star. That's her old shell. As you can see, it's not only chipped, it's also broken and all raggedy edged. And what I wanted to do was I wanted her to change shells. So I took the four best shells I had, we took all of these out. I took the four best shells we had and I was told to dip them in the salt water bath, get them all nice and wet and put some water in and leave the water in the shells and then put them, I put them right where she hangs out and here, clam in my hand, oh, oh, sorry. And um, I put them last night, Saturday night, I put them all in the area that she likes to hang out in. And this morning, my daughter came in and said, Mom, she has changed shells. And I said, wow, that was quick. Are you really going to hold on to this? This was not a good towel to put on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you're super fast. Right there, so everybody can see you. I need to fix this. There we go. It's a little zoomed in. <laughs> okay. So, star's the star of the show. Don't fall. <laughs> well, she didn't chip it or break it, but that's the problem. That's what happened with this. It started chipping on the outside, but when I saw this, I got really upset. Look at that, that, that's where her neck and head would pop out, and that hurts my finger right there. So, I was told, like I said, to pick out the best shells. I gotta fix this. I think she knocked it over. Pick out the shells you think that are the best for her, I'm not doing a good job. I'm doing, shouldn't be doing this at this time. And uh, dip them in the salt water bath, leave the water in there. Um, it entices them into looking into the shell and if they like the shell, they'll move right into it. And that's exactly what happened. I put those four shells uh, back in this corner and because she likes to hang out back there um, up on the rope. She climbs the log like Pip, but she's mainly on the rope. Um, she has torn up the rope pretty good. You can see they've, her and Pepper have been working on destroying, I keep calling a rope, uh, the netting. So, um, yeah, she's the star of the show. Show off that beautiful purple pincher. I always want to say that like three times really fast purple, wait, pretty purple pincher, there you go, pretty, see, she likes to climb on everything, so, we got Pepper, Big Blue, and, um, uh, Mr. Krabs there on the left, he's the closest, she was starting, um, fights with him in her old shell, so I think she was trying to get at his shell, um, he or she, I don't know, I know for a fact that Star is a girl, and Pepper there in the back that's getting up and moving is definitely a boy. They're the twins that came together. They're the last two crabs we got. Pepper had the white shell with the calcium or whatever concrete looking stuff, but it had was eaten through with all the peppered spots. And Star... She had a, a better shell, but it just looked like somebody, you know, put concrete on the top. And then she started attacking. She's the one who attacked everybody and was fighting with everybody. And, like, I've never seen a crab grab onto another crab and just hold on. And then um, we put all the shells in and she changed in to this... Uh, turbo green type shell. That's why I named her Star because of this little tip up here. But anyway, um, she's the one that did the backflip into the 
into the fresh water bowl. And then when she got out of the fresh water bowl, she slid down and she fell on the rock. Now at that time, there were no chips or breaks, but the next day I noticed the white chip in one of the videos. And then I took a closer look and look how ragged it's, it's, it actually, yeah, it's, it's, it hurts. So, and that's where her neck and everything, like I said, comes out. So, I had to entice her out of her shell. Did you finally tucker yourself out? You've been gone for like 14 hours straight. She's gotta be tired. <laughs>